There a problem? You misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh uh, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be... Blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just wanna talk! Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly, forthrightly. Are you here alone? Guardian Angels, with 50 caliber snipes aimed at your skull. 
You don't let me go, your dogs will have to glue you back together. He's lying. Try that again, and it's two million volts. Got it? Do a sweep, now. Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> him you can let go. I want to hear what he has to say. chill from the start shut the fuck up tell me what you want come on I want an answer I need a bot flathead model guys who ripped you off have it promise me that bot I'll point the finger you have a plan how to deal with them could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter, but on one condition. You pay with our money. <laughs> nah, no what, Stout? My offer just came off the table. Mistake. Big mistake. Ah, there you are. Let me hear what you squared away. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan?
That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right. The strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Keep me calm. Where are those bottles? Uh, going down. Place. It could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch, planet. Lace. Tough to get your hands on. Gotta have a good source. What's it do? Ups dwarfs and adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. 
The trip's so intense, it verges on psychosis. Corps fed it to their fighting legions during the Corp Wars. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing it mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on, give it a whirl! What you blowing? Black lace. Tough to get your hands on. Gotta have a good source. What's it do? Ups dwarfs and adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. The trip's so intense it verges on psychosis. Corpse fed it to their fighting legions during the Corp Wars. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing it mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on, give it a whirl! paid up. Dexter Deshaun. That's it. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Maybe he ain't dead? No. Nope. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now?
Got the set. Bot and controller. And let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really, no other way.
friend. V, let's get out of here. Militech. They got those things buzzing around everywhere. Past the gate. We can talk there. Thought you'd never see me again, didn't you? Naive little punk. We don't want any more trouble. No, I seriously doubt you do. 
Today was about Royce getting his just desserts. Couldn't have done it without you. Flathead's yours. And consider us even. I want a perimeter. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, good night. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know? We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there's trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Rick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You used the Corpo woman? I met Stout. And? Didn't exactly hit it off. Poor Meredith. No doubt in my mind she'll be left picking up the tab after your bad day. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. V. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V.
porque ya tengo planes para esta noche. Virgen Santísima, ma. Te vas a enterar mañana. Yo también te quiero, ma. Yeah, about time, Holmes. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life. Yeah. We have arrived. The Major Leagues. Does not get any higher, chum. And you know something else? We fucking earned it, mano. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Really, Jackie? What? Told you that myself. Oh, for reals? Ah, oh, shit. That must have been ages ago. And who am I, you clown? We're friends of Dexter Deshawn. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. Maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Fell asleep. Looks like we're up. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? I'm good, thanks. For real? I'm celebrating. Come on. It's on me. Chingada madre. Fine. Have it your way. A tequila old fashioned with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. One Johnny Silverhand coming up. Right on, chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. How long's the afterlife been around? Half a century? Longer. Don't know by how much, though. That'd be the oldest club in Night City. And the most respected. Don't forget that bit. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. It ought to be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. I live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshawn, see you now. Dex a regular? You come here a lot? A sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. Didn't show his face for nearly two years. Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, right? Well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. Guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. How'd you know? My job to know. Look around. 
How do you think mercs earn their reps? Through gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's how. Break a leg. Thanks. This way. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right. Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Well, let's see this bad boy. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Thanks for your help back at the scav haunt. A few reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> city Hall should be fucking thanking us. Sweet booth. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker. How'd you fare? Couldn't have gone better. In fact, she liked me so much, she made me another offer. Another offer? Mm-hmm. Kind where we ditched the middleman and split the pot in even 50-50. What? <clears throat> Ditch the middleman? <laughs> Shit, now that's rich. <laughs> <laughs> Clients never learn, do they? I do appreciate you sharing this info, though, Mr. B. You see, trust is essential in any partnership that's to be long-lasting and fruitful. Thought you'd be pissed that you'd lose it. Lived in NC too long to blow my top every time some amateur thinks they can take me for a ride. Parker ain't the first, and sure as hell won't be the last. Appreciation don't convert to Eddie's, and Evelyn offered us a bunch. He's telling it like it is, Dex. Y'all need not worry. Truly, we'll come to that. How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deeds. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. How do we get in the penthouse? Yorinobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Konpeki's dweller, elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hits you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? 
These new identities. Tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Harry Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? Transports at Delamy. Primus Cab Company in all night city. Not a mile. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamine just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamine will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The Notel Motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Anything else? Okay, feel brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Now's a good time as any. Fresh talent gets 30% always. But I'm willing to make an exception in your case. I'm gonna cut you a nice juicy 40 as a bonus for your honesty, V. more like it, Dex. Ka-ching, baby. Last thing. Kompeki's got a strict no-iron policy. Security gates. The works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its cage. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Chido. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops, is my guess. What do we do while we sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, because old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet. So don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. You and Dex know each other a while. Um, why? Uh, you know, people say all kinds of things. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Marcus Aurelius, I think. <laughs> you and Dex both philosophize in it. No wonder you get along. Plan. What's your take? Enough, I hope, to put me in a luxury Cretan villa from which I'll never set foot in cyberspace again. Promise to send me a postcard? No offense, but I'm gonna burn any and all bridges. Need a clean break. I'm good. No questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. In getting rich, you mean...